Everybody, I'm Chris from that station, and welcome to Studio J. My guest from Houndmouth, Matt Meyer. Hello. How, How are you, you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing great, but it's not my birthday. Yeah. It's yeah. yours. Yeah, yesterday was my birthday, and uh, I'm a little sluggish. Yeah, you right guys now. were in uh, Wilmington last night? Wilmington, yeah. How was the show? It was great. Uh, yeah, like, tickets have been awesome. That's and incredible. Totally. Yeah. You know, like, we fly kind of under the radar as a band. Okay. So, like, we're surprised if anybody comes out usually, and, <laughs> and this run has just been, like, packed. It's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Let's talk about the uh, the new album that's yeah. out, because um, I have lots of questions about where you recorded the album. Mm -hmm. And you also, I know you worked with Brad Cook, who's recorded or helped produce albums for his Golden Messenger and yeah. American Aquarium that are both from here, actually. Right, right. Um, tell us about the new album. So, um, we it's called Good For You, yeah. and we recorded it primarily at a place we call the Greenhouse in New Albany. It's an old, like, federal-style building. Built in 1850s, I believe. Okay. Um, it's in Shane's family. It's been in Shane's family for years. It's where his dad grew up. His grandparents lived. Oh, wow. And um, I went over there when I was in college. I met him. It was just like I was expecting to go to like a dorm or something, you know? And he's like, he gave me his address. I showed up. I walked in. It's a tall ceiling, chandeliers. He had a drum kit set up. And I was like, yo. I'm never leaving this place. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so you've you've known about this place forever then? Because what yeah. you guys grew, you met in college or got together in college? Yeah, like we met in high school, but we weren't homies. And then in college, when he came back, he moved back after audio school. We got together, but yeah. Anyway, we we we've been recording at the greenhouse forever. Like we did our first EP there, and then and just always did demos there. Mm -hmm. But we've always recorded in studios. We're like, man, let's. It, when Brad came, he flew to New Albany to meet us, and we were like, yo, can we make a, a album in this place? And he's like, no problem. So Amazing. we got an engineer to fly out, he brought some brought some gear, and we just we did it there. How much impact does that space <clears throat> have on the music? Uh, it's huge. It's like a comfort level. Uh, yeah. You can get, you can like, you feel free to like be creative and fall on your face, you know? Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's one song on the album that sounds like it was recorded in a very different way during the recording process, and yeah. that is Las Vegas. Yeah. What was different about recording that song? Well, we didn't have John Ashley engineering it, and Brad uh, and Brad had gone back to uh, Durham, so we were on our own. We had submitted seven songs to the label, and they're like, you need ten. So we, Shane and I were just like, okay, we'll record three three more songs. So we did Vegas, Mackenzie, and um, uh, Ride or Die. All on your own. Yeah. They sound fine. They sound good. Shane yeah. did a great job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so in Las Vegas, how did that, like you were actually, if I read correctly, mm -hmm. there's a, a large space in there, right? Like you guys were shouting the harmonies from one side of the yeah. house and you were recording in another room? Yeah, you just like throw a mic at the end of the hall and like if everybody was close screaming, it would just be a little bit, a little bit harsh. I guess that like roomy, like rowdy sound when you step far away from it. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Tell me about getting discovered at South by Southwest. I feel like the story of getting <laughs> that deal yeah. is not common. It's It's probably the... The dream, right, for most bands, the yeah. expectation will go do this big festival and get a deal. <laughs> yeah. But that literally happened for you. Yeah. it's Yeah, so we went to South by Southwest. We had a booking agent at the time tell us, he's like, he's our booking agent now. Matt Hickey's excellent. He was like, you know, you, you don't necessarily have to make the trudge to South by. He's like, it's because it's not what it used to be. Right. You know? Yeah. But he got us some, some shows, and we went down there. And he got Jeff Travis to come to a show from Rough Trade, and he saw one show at like a little, like a little makeshift venue, and then came to our show the next night. And was like, "You guys want to do this?" Wow. I was like, "Heck yeah!" And then it's funny this year we went to South by, and I'm uh, we met Jeff at the same spot. Yeah, he came wow. back, hung out, bringing it all back. Yeah. What's next for you? I know you're on this large tour. It looks like it's headed through Canada at some point, too, after it moves through some of the United States. Yeah, eventually getting up to Canada. Yeah. How yeah. long is the tour for? Um, we had, like, two more weeks, I believe. Wow. Yeah. It's been good so far. It's been great. I'm so sluggish after my yeah. birthday. My well, you God. know, you get to be. You <laughs> yeah. get to be. You had a big you're birthday. You're right. You're right. You I got to do whatever it. I wanted. 
Yeah, you earned it. What about uh, the next album? I know that's probably way down the road, but do you have a, a pocket of songs or sounds that you're yeah, there's like, working with? There's like one song that's really good right now, and then there's like another idea that's good and a couple more ideas that really need to be hashed out. Gotcha. About four things total. Ideally, I'd put an album out like tomorrow if I could, but you know. Got a tour on this one, I guess. Right? Totally. Well, Matt Meyer from Houndmouth, thank you for coming in Studio J. Thanks for having me.